Hey guys, welcome back to this week's Trader Joe's haul. So there wasn't a lot of new items this week, so there won't be a taste test video. I really wanted to get my hands on those sour cream and onion, like onion rings. Have you guys seen those around? They weren't at my Trader Joe's, unfortunately. But yeah, let's just get into this haul. Let me share with you what I got. So first up is one of my favorites from Trader Joe's, and it's been so long since we actually got this. And that is just their Sublime Ice Cream Sandwiches. Vanilla ice cream sandwich in between two chocolate chip cookies rolled with chocolate chips. These are just so good. It comes with four of them in here. This one is definitely a true favorite of ours. We love it. And then over here, we've got an item that we've never tried before. I decided to pick this up for Brent's lunch. I like to have stuff like in the freezer just in case there isn't a lot of leftovers for him to take. Um, so I thought this would be good for him to try. This is the black bean and corn enchiladas. It's made with organic white corn tortillas, corn, and black beans. So it looks like there's two of them in there. It sounds like it would be pretty good. So I picked that up for him. I also got the roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. This one is a absolute favorite of ours. We love to have this. Uh, usually for breakfast potatoes is kind of usually how we make it and it's vegan, it's really good. I grabbed some Mexican style cheese over here. I think I'm gonna do some quesadillas this week for lunch. So I like to pair the Mexican style cheese with the Mexican style roasted corn. This stuff is so good. We like this as a side dish for dinner as well. And then I mix this in with the beans and the cheese and it makes a really good quesadilla. So we picked that up. I got some um, organic strawberries over here, the frozen kind. And then over here, I needed some corn tortillas for a dinner this week. And then for those quesadillas that I mentioned, I like to use these. So these are the habanero lime flour tortillas. So I picked that up for the quesadillas. Now over here, I found a recipe for like a little appetizer and I decided I'm gonna give it a try. So I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know if it's any good, but it sounds delicious. So this is all the ingredients that you need for it. You mix all three of these cheeses together. So you're gonna mix the ricotta cheese with the mascarpone. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I've never had this before, but I hear it's really good, as well as goat cheese. So I picked up this goat cheese. There was a lot to choose from at Trader Joe's, but I thought that this um, fine herb one would be really good. So you mix all those cheeses together and then you put it on top of this baguette. So you wanna chop up the baguette, put it in the oven for like 400 degrees for five minutes. Once it's nice and toasted, you're gonna spoon this cheese mixture on top of that. Then you wanna go ahead and add the bruschetta sauce on top of that. And then you wanna add a balsamic glaze to finish it off. It sounds like it's gonna be really good. So I cannot wait to make this. Hopefully it's as good as it sounds. And then over here, we just needed some bread for the week. For the kids' lunches, this is the organic sprouted wheat multigrain bread, so pick that up. And then over here, I've been craving gyro. So that's what we're gonna do for dinner one night this week. We love Trader Joe's gyro slices. They're really easy, they're fully cooked. You just put them in the pan to crisp them up. And then we do buy two boxes of them because, uh, yeah, we love it. So we need two boxes to fill us up because Brent loves this dinner. So we grab two boxes of the gyro slices and we pair that with the Indian style flatbread. This one is the garlic flavor infused one and it comes with four flatbreads and they're pretty reasonably sized too. They're really big. And then to go with all that, we love this vegan tzatziki dip. It's one of my favorites to go on euros. It's so good. And then this is a new addition that I've never grabbed before for the euros, but I thought it would be really good. This is a traditional middle style Eastern salad. I think, how do you pronounce that? Tabouli? I'm sure that's wrong. <laughs> Let me know in the comments how to pronounce this. It looks like there's a tomato, parsley, um, extra virgin olive oil, sea salt, pepper, and mint and onions in here. So I thought that would be really good to pair um, on top of the euro. So we got all that. I grabbed this cheese last week and it was gone. Lakeland loves this stuff. I, do, I slice this up and then give her crackers for like cheese and crackers in her lunches and she really liked it. So I grabbed another pack of that because we were completely out. And then I had to get another package of this Buffalo style seasoned almonds. They were so good. I shared a little bit with Brent, but mostly I ate them all. I was not about sharing these because they were so good. So I picked up another package this week. And then they're starting to get some of their um, St. Patrick's Day stuff in at Trader Joe's. So I decided to pick this up early. This is the fully cooked, uncured corned beef brisket. I have never had this before. I see it at Trader Joe's every year. So I finally decided this is the year I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna try it. And I like that it's fully cooked. I don't have to do anything because I think I've tried to make corned beef brisket before. It just did not turn out 
is good. Um, so hopefully this one's good. Let me know if you guys have had this one before and if you like it or not. And then there is the price right there, $12.99 per pound. So this total was $23.77. So yeah, I'm gonna have that for um, St. Patty's Day this year. And then over here we do have the two new items. This one is the organic red wine vinegar and they also came out with an organic um, balsamic vinegar. I love this stuff. You guys know me, I love having salads for lunch and I love making a homemade dressing. So these are two keys in my homemade dressings that I've gotta have. So I'm glad that these are new and I cannot wait to try these in my salad dressings. And then finally, Trader Joe's came back in stock with their sweet chili sauce. I don't know about you guys at your Trader Joe's, but I have been looking for this stuff for well over a month and they have not had it in stock. And today was the first day that I finally found it. So I can finally buy some spring rolls because I had been out of this stuff and I've been eating it. So I'm glad that they finally got it back in stock. I picked these up for Tristan as a like sweet treat I can pack in his uh, lunches. These are the dark chocolate sunflower seed butter cups. Uh, totally allergy friendly, gluten free, all that stuff. Stuff. I picked this up for him a couple of weeks ago for him to try because I wasn't sure if he was gonna like it and he did like it so I wanted to get this resealable one because um, it's easy I can just put one or two of these in his lunches and then seal it back up for the next day so thought that was perfect for him and then we needed some um, refried beans like I said to go with those quesadillas mix in with the elote corn really good and then I also grabbed um, Tristan's favorite yogurt there at Trader Joe's. It's this organic creamy cashew one. It's the vanilla flavor is his favorite. So I picked up two of those for his lunches as well. So yeah, that is it for this week, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Sorry there's no taste test video this week. Uh, hopefully they get more new items soon so we can taste some yummy stuff. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.